arrived. So we don't know how big the rapids are going to be. So throwing the old wetsuit. It's a five millimeter one though, so it's kind of thick. Just doing a little blogging back here. All right, first paddle with the new canoe. Ooh, she's nice. She's real nice. Oh, this is so nice. So we think there's a reason people don't usually canoe this part. It's about a 200 meter bushwhack. It's like the jungle in here. This wetsuit is just so hot. With only being on the water for a short time, our introduction to the route was short as we started our descent down to the ocean. Going down. We approached a section of the river where the water is flooding the shoreline. Based on the circumstances, I attempted to line on river left. Kind of in a rough situation here. Ran out of water. Wow. I don't think I can do that. Not having many options, I was forced to cross a deep water channel. At this point I was really questioning using an open face canoe for such burly rapids, but that's all I had. This is a tough river. There is rapids every 500 meters and they're really bony. This section is definitely not doable at most times of the year, but there's a small window and that's right now, but it's still really bony and it's a lot tougher to, to make distance than we expected. It's probably about three or four degrees. I had to go swimming, but wearing this wetsuit was the best decision I could have made because if I didn't have it, I would be freezing. Another two or three hours until camp tonight and a few more sets of rapids. I can actually see the next set right here. In a wilderness area, it is defined as a place that preserves nature and also promotes sustainable recreational activities. It's a wild place. We did not see anyone else so far. And I really don't expect to because we're just getting deeper and deeper.
was great. We finally made it to camp. Monster crack in the canoe. So we made it. It's about 6.15, just in time to set up camp and have some dinner. Gorgeous lake. Camp hasn't been used in a little bit, but that? that's all right. What's it? Just talking to the camera. Oh. <laughs> I do that sometimes. Just doing a quick oh. cleanup here. So it hasn't been used in a long time, so we gotta do a little housekeeping. Half your video is gonna be me going, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Well, Dave, I think your pitch was white water and good fishing. And I think that was pretty accurate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you had moments where you're like, what the f have I got myself into? When I was lining, that was like the time I was questioning what I was doing. Yes. Lining can definitely be pretty dangerous. Yeah, ropes, ropes and white water are not a good combo. Yeah. But we do it all the time because we kind of need to. But... Says I love you like half a pack of bacon. So what's that bacon going with tonight? Uh, we're gonna do pierogies with sautéed mushrooms and onions. Bacon, pierogies, sautéed mushrooms and onions. Sounds pretty tasty. Makes me reconsider bringing dehydrated chili. <laughs> <laughs> So it's the morning of day two. It's a little frosty, but the sun's out. I went to check on my wetsuit, and it is pretty solid. It's kind of crunchy too. It's like frozen solid. How many kilometers do we have today? We have about 10, 12 kilometers, 15 kilometers, 12, 15 kilometers. So I'm gonna now attempt to put on my wet and cold wetsuit. It's gonna be very uncomfortable. And there you have it. So what happened yesterday? So we were running this gorge section, which was about a kilometer long, and it all went it went pretty smooth. We had to stop halfway down and uh, turn our boats upside down, dump out all the water, because there's a lot of water. So then on the second section we go down, it's a big ledge that comes down, hits a rock, and bounces off to the right, and then goes downstream and does the same thing again, hits another big rock. I was coming down it, and things were going really well, and I, I came right over the top of this ledge, and I looked down into the hole, and the, New came down and I braced and the back end the stern of the boat must have hit that rock that was submerged and it just crack and the sound of it hitting the boat sounded like a hockey stick breaking in your hands or like a bone breaking like snap uh, and I knew right away and it was a bad thing right away uh, and then I got to shore I turned around and I could see the water gushing in through the hole in the canoe which is not a thing I've ever seen before and it was a bit concerning but I managed to get it down another six or seven rapids after that and uh, uh, dried it off last night, put some duct tape on it and uh, hope for the best. Hopefully I get it back down to the cars today. I don't know, might be the end of her life, but I'll patch it up. It would be a, a beater. There's a lot of swirls on the map, so we're expecting some rapids. So I'm gonna put you 
in the skeleton case so I don't flood the GoPro. We approached a section of the river that had a kilometer of swifts to class ones. We made our way down through visible eddies and the odd still water. It's gorgeous here. There are tons of erratics, which are glacial deposited rocks like that one right there and they're just sprinkled throughout the lakes absolutely gorgeous did a lot of work to get here I'm gonna sleep well tonight Thank you.